Here you are, 82 years old, and uh, you've uh, seen the First World War and been through and seen the Second World War, and you've seen your children go to war and come back, and you've seen uh, the uh, jet planes and the... Uh, I can remember one time that uh, when Grandma passed away and you brought the uh, pressure cooker out and showed her what a wonderful job had done on this uh, old tough hen and uh, the invention, invention of the pressure cooker. And uh, the, uh, we've seen the, the uh, different uh, m moods of men as they uh, go to the hippies and uh, as you think about those and and uh, we just wonder today what you think about the the uh, world as it is and what kind of advice would you give to a young person today starting out in life? Well, I've seen many ups and downs in my life. Some, sometimes it seemed like there were more downs than up. But in the latter years of my life, since I know that my life is not much longer for this world as a look back, I think the ups have been greater than the downs was bad. But of all things, I thank God that I had a mother and a father that taught me put my faith and trust in him no matter what comes or what goes and that all would be well my father used to quote the scripture he let's see how is it see that loveth the lord puts the faith and the trust in the lord why you can expect things to be all right although they may not be what you would want them to be your separate think should be but I thank God for my children and for each and every one of them. While I know sometimes they've done things that I wouldn't, uh, didn't approve of, but they've been wonderful children to me, and I think they're all follow the my teachings more or less than they would have if I'd have been of the world be type that they have today. While sorrow sometimes break your heart, there's joy that bursts that has no bound limit to the greatness of what it might be to, to be a Christian and to love. But to my advice to the young people today would be first and all, always, Seek Jesus and give your heart and life to him and live the very best you can. My father's advice was try to live better today than yesterday and better tomorrow than today. And that is what has always been a great blessing to me to think of these things. While I haven't lived the perfect life by any means, nor none of us do, but you young people don't turn from the Bible as so many are doing. Go for whatever it says and li listen to your mother and father. Sometimes young people get it into their head and minds that they know a little bit more than their mother and father. I did. When I was a young girl, I thought, all oh, these old fogies, they didn't know what they're talking about. But today, drawing near 83 years of age, the longer I live, the more I think of it, how true what their sin was and what they meant. And it was through all through love for their children that they gave us this advice. And my father's uh, prayer for every day was to live a life that when death comes, give us a peaceful hour in 
went to die. Why well, I wasn't at his bedside, I was in the hospital, knew nothing of his sickness. They said that was his last word, and the doctor said he'd never seen this peaceful uh, death happen to anyone as it did to him. He folded his arms. He said, children, I'm going home. Come and go with me. So what greater things is it to live for in this world today? All the riches that you can pour before you is not worth one cent compared to what that means to me. I don't know of any other things I can say. There's a lot of things that, that come into mind, but as the years draw closer, I said I feel there's a security in my heart and mind knowing that there's a better place in this world to go to and that that's what we should all strive for. And I hope that my life, my influence, not only upon my children, my grandchildren, my friends, will reflect that that is what has been my purpose in life, is for to live.